and finally, the self-proclaimed champions of free speech are vehemently opposing a film on Prime Minister Modi, and the so-called award wapsi and intolerance gang has put the blinkers once again. One fifty-five second trailers giving them the heebie-jeebies. Let's debate. चेतावनी देता हूँ मैं पाकिस्तान को अगर दोबारा हम पर हाथ उठाया तो हाथ काट दूंगा A biopic on Prime Minister Modi is making the opposition nervous. So nervous that it runs to the Election Commission to complain loudly. Purpose of this film is only political to get some extra mileage in the election. We believe it is not just a corrupt practice, but the very launch of the film is motivated. Three of the producers belong to the BJP, right? And the director Sandeep Singh is involved in vibrant Gujarat. After targeting the film, they are targeting actor Vivek Oberoi, who's playing Narendra Modi. Vivek Oberoi, as you know, is of the BJP. So the whole purpose is to gain political advantage. Uh, this is violative of all norms. Those who claim to be champions of free speech are now unleashing a vicious attack on a film and its makers because they believe it will have an impact on the upcoming elections. In Bengaluru, they detain techies for chanting Modi's name. In Varanasi, they heckled a young woman for wearing the Namo Again sweatshirt. And now they are intolerant to a film on the Prime Minister. So much for their tall claims on tolerance and freedom of expression. Let's debate. Anjali Damani, I want you to start by telling Shazia Elmi what your problem with the Modi film is. Uh, Arnab, the main point is, in our country, election commission has set up some rules that in any given MP election, the maximum amount that is spent by any candidate should not exceed rupees seventy lakh. Now that has a reason. I mean, uh, you know, in these rallies, in these campaigns, uh, the amount of hoardings that are put up, everything is summed up with a. Perfect calculation by the election commission. Now, when we are talking about a movie which is primarily on Narendra Modi, uh, the entire amount of money that is spent on this movie should directly get added on to his election expense. Now, how that is calculated? At the moment, there is no law. At the moment, there is nothing that the election commission can understand. And calculate because here you know if you and use a flag in, in fact, and if you use hundred flags in a particular this has rally, nothing to do they with simply multiply. Expense. Individuals are allowed to make films on whosoever they want. Like you are most Shazia, welcome to make a film Shazia, on Kajriwal. I think let's have a I am most let's welcome have a sensible debate. On Narendra Modi ji on my own expense. Shazia, let's have a sensible no, 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 debate. I, no, I, if no, you no, want, you are not being sensible at all because you are connecting this with election expense. And it has nothing to Shazia, do with the now, representation please, of people's acts. If this is the kind of right attitude, I don't. That's the reason I, I don't there was like coming. Argument in this country. That is the reason. Okay, Shazia, let her complete her point. I did not let want Anjali to come on public TV. Point, because if I'm not allowed to talk, there's no, no sense. Anjali, you went on and I've on. I've got I nothing to do with Congress. I've got nothing okay, to do with BJP. No, the, so the Arnab didn't ask Please you to speak, right? Let her, let her, let her Arnab didn't up. ask you to speak. That's all right. I don't ask everyone to speak all Correct. the time. It's a free, Finish. free Finish. and open See, on my show. See, in any given rally... Correct. Arnab, in any given rally, there are certain calculations that are done. If you use 100 flags, they multiplied with the, the figure that the has obvious, been decided for that particular year. And you're overstating it because we know the it, The number Anjali. of hoardings, the number of ads, everything. Anjali, it's not a tutorial on everything. election expenses. I think Arna, we're, we're very well aware Shazia, of it. Shazia, please. please no, no, you're I, Arna, no, no, you're belaboring the, the point. Which need Arna, not be. I will quit no, Anjali, the debate please if this is Shazia's attitude. No, Anjali, please don't give us a lecture attitude. on election expenses. Arna, we can read it all. I will quit the debate if this is Shazia's attitude. Is it a, my question is. Anjali, you're just saying the same thing again and again. It is sad. It is sad. That a lady who it. has been fighting against corruption in the past now seems to accept a full-scale advertisement of some given political party 
just because it is her political party. I just don't understand. No, please, no, pers no personal, no personal attacks. I just don't understand. You have to be. I have, yeah, yeah. Please refrain. I have nothing Please to refrain do from making personal attacks, Anjali Damania. I have nothing to I do with Congress or Rahul Gandhi. Okay, Anjali, Anjali, Damania, Anjali, 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 Anjali Damania, I have a counter here. Anjali Damania, 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 Shazia one minute, Shazia one minute, Shazia one minute, Shazia one minute. Now, now may I please, may I please make a very factual point here? And Anjali, let's not be swayed by personal likes and dislikes here. You know, there's a movie named Firak. No, no, definitely no, no, listen not. to me. And, I, and I asked the question to the... No, listen to me, please. You know, I'm always factual, and, and I'm above question when it comes to facts. Uh, please understand, a movie named Firak, directed by Nandita Das, was released on 20th March 2009, about five to six weeks, Saira, before the 2009 general elections. It was based on the Gujarat riots, and it took a very strong position against the Gujarat administration. Yes. Now listen to me then, please. Listen to me, the, the story continues. There was a special premiere organized for the film. Can I tell you who was one of the main invitees to the special premiere? You promise not to laugh. It was Rahul Gandhi. Do you realize what I'm saying, everyone on the screen? So, when you Congress is in power, you make a film taking on a BJP government and the premier chief guest is Rahul Gandhi or something like the chief guest. Now, let me give you one more example. No, no, listen. If you're saying political context, see, 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 listen to me. Let's be reasonable. Let me complete my point, then I'll be quiet. I never speak on my program anyway. Listen here. There's another film called Shorgul. Just months before oh, the... please. Just before the UP elections. A film called Shorgul, no, last time, no, which is based on the Muzaffar Nagar riots. Let me no, listen. There is a film called Tashkent Files. Let me complete my film. Okay. By so, so, okay. Vivek so you should ban Tashkent Files. No, no, I, I tell you one thing, viewers, this the... is the most crazy thing. No, 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 I want to know. Who he wants to ban Vivek Agniotri's film also now. This is the award wapsi brigade. Make one point. Let me complete so, my point. Uh, 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 listen to me. I want to make a, to make a, I want to make a point here. Yeah, I, I was not allowed to speak at all. Why I was explaining the details of the election. Okay, you debate with Shazia. Shazia, I need to make a small point. Five years back, Vivek Oberoi was campaigning for Janta Dal Sekula. What so, happened to the man? What happened to the so man? So Milind Diora was campaigning. Diora got Salman Khan to support him, and Salman Khan also supported the BJP. Please tell me. Please tell me when a film so star Vivek Oberoi, who is playing Sri yeah, Narendra Modi, what kind of an argument is that? What, what is that? What do you mean by that? Because Janta Dal Sekula, you are working against that? yourself. Could you please so tell me? Vivek Oberoi has every right. Can you tell me, Shahzad? He has every right to, to act in whichever movie he wants to act in. This is India. Party. This is democracy, he my dear friend. Valid his mother in law, Nandini Alva. What about that? 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 A you people politician, claim to be champions a of tolerance. You all go around returning a vote. And you have a huge words. problem with Can an actor that? acting when in a there movie. Is a Anand is also on the debate. Anand and Saira. Anand and Saira. Saira Shahleem. Saira Shahleem, let me, let me, let me question you further. Fascism, fascism. Okay, 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 okay. Anand is on. If ever there... There is need for an actor to play the role of Mr. Narayana Swami. This gentleman should be. I can't hear myself. This guy is shouting. Yeah, he's but shouting. I need to make a point here. Yeah. Arnab. First of all, can Arnab, I request? You know, you remember no, no. back in September. Can I request? Can I request Syed Asad Abbas to stop shouting because he's temporarily off air? The problem is that you know, even when you're on a calm program, what do you think? This is Republic. You think you're someone's other channel? Don't you know we are placid, quiet, listen to each other and are perennially polite? Now, please, thank you, Sayyid Abbas, for taking a break. Anand, continue and debate with Saira, who's yeah. looking puzzled Arnab, right now. Yeah, I have yes. one example. Okay, go on, you make your point. Then I'll yeah, you know, I, I think it is, yeah, I, 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 think, I think it is absolutely preposterous, uh, you know, to ban a film just because it is a biography or, you know, it actually talks about Narendra Modi. Uh, I think, you know, and... The, the last people who should be talking are these Congress apologists and Darbari fellows. Because if you Saira. remember, Arna, back in September last yeah. year, yeah. you were kind enough, you were kind enough to give me 30 seconds, 30 seconds of your time when I was debating with Mr. Manmohan Desai. Correction, Rajiv Desai. Narrating, narrating okay, the killing of freedom of expression of Jawaharlal Nehru. Now, I want to create history right now 
by okay, requesting you to give that. me 17 minutes okay, of your time. That? 17 minutes, Arna. Okay. 17 okay, minutes. Okay, can I come in, please? I haven't I said a word out here. Okay, can I say something? 260. 200. Uh, one second. Uh, one second, ma'am. I'm not finished. 260 instances of blatant violation of freedom of expression by Congress party. So please give me 17 minutes. Okay, shall I start? No, you don't have 17 minutes, but you carry on. You have 17 seconds. Go on. Saira Shalim wants minutes? to counter you. I'm sorry to say. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Two, okay, let, let me come in. Firstly, I want to tell the gentleman here. India. I want to tell the now. gentleman here which film releases one week prior to the election, which is a propaganda film. We are questioning the timing. Oh, we are questioning the content. Have, you, because we all know let that it be even a propaganda if the film, film you can release, write articles, the film you can already do tweets, has its share you can of views on YouTube. Someone. You can praise someone. the protagonist of What's the, the film problem? is being it's an hailed as a, a savior to India. Don't be petrified. And you know, the whole narrative Don't can be the people of, of artistic India. expression. It is Mukesh Tyagi. Mukesh Tyagi. Yeah, I, I, I just want to say and, uh, the, the law is about all of us. Law and the two newspapers who released the two full page advertisements are answerable. And why did we use people who are not? It is the election like commission Javed which has Akhtar all the authorities vested with the constitutional power to decide whether it has got an impact on the electioneering or not. It is election commission, CBFC. Sahadabad. These are the institutions which will go through the process. If they say the movie can be released, then the none of us have the business this to object to release of the film. There is an excessive the interference in the cinematic liberty in the Bollywood. Anand. Every movie. Anand and Sahadabad. Anand and Sahadabad. Is Anjali there? I can't see. Every day we get to read. Who is by accident? Every day we get to read a dozen. Some articles, you, on, you, you know, on Narendra Modi, opinion the pieces, Minister, saying the country is going to dogs, the movie? Yes emergency or no? is here, yes or no, terrorist Anand? is here, you watch the movie? Gandhi Nali Ka Kira is movie? here, all those opinion this pieces movie, are fine. PM Narendra Modi will meet but you the worry because the an artistic expression, Prime Minister, let it be propaganda. Prakash Raji, you guys are not doing any less propaganda, by the way. That we have a prime you guys are darbari. You, you guys are doing a different kind of propaganda. But an accident. But because and it is a propaganda that goes against your propaganda, you are worried about scared. it. We're not okay, so so movie. your basic but argument is no, no. One second. Let me take the argument that Anjali started with. Anjali and Shazia. Anjali, tell Shazia. Anjali, tell Shazia, right. there is a film called Ijazat, a story watched. on Prime Minister, yeah, former Prime Minister of India, Rajiv Gandhi. Why isn't Kapil Sibal saying go and ban that? And one more thing, weeks before the UP elections, you're seeing political films. A movie called Shorgul, based on the Muzaffarnagar riots, was released. Why is it the Congress did not stop that? No, 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 one second, one second. No, no, what is it? What is it? Those are political issues, political debates. Every film, hear me out. Oh, so a film Every, you have to decide. Arnav, hear me out. All Every films do anything to do with politics must stop which now. Which comes before model code of conduct is For God's fine. sake, this country Every is permanently in election mode. Before model it code of conduct is Every few fine. weeks there's an election. If Narendra Modi yeah, film oh would have God. come Constant. just All right, Shazia responding. Conduct, Final response from Shazia to Anjali Damania. Absolutely no issue. No, I really, I really do not feel the need to dignify uh, Anjali's arguments, which make no sense whatsoever. I think all of us sit here, all of us have our views, all of us have our own views. We all, we, we all, are, we all indulge in our Closing the debate. What we think you are is the affiliation to Closing the debate. And we're getting really news that the Congress and AAP have finished their tie-up in Delhi. That's going to be announced tomorrow. Following that in all election stories, quicker and faster than everyone. I shall see you tomorrow at 9. Ladies and gentlemen, good night and goodbye.